I represent Anambra Central. I'm from Anambra State. Mr. President, first of all, let me commend my colleague for bringing up this motion at this point in time. Mr. President, this motion is apt, and it has come at a time when we are looking up to Christmas celebration, which will come in the next few weeks. Mr. President, I want to give my own uh, personal experience. Last two weeks, I was going to Enugu State. When I got to Amansi Junction, because of the three checkpoints at, between Amansi and Enugu, I couldn't even access that road to go to Enugu. I was there for five hours, a journey that would have taken me 40 minutes. But I was there for five hours. I had to talk. I went through Enugu, Oka Express Road. The same traffic caused by the checkpoints could not allow me to access Enugu. I had to go back to Anambra State, and I cancelled my trip. From Enugu to Lokoja, Mr. President, you see more than 10 checkpoints. From Anambra, Oka to Onicha, you will see more than 10 checkpoints. From Onicha to Owere, you will meet more than 30 checkpoints. You will pass police checkpoints. The next one, after some few meters, you see army checkpoints. And this has not really abetted the crime, the, the rate of crime in those localities. Mr. President, kidnapping happens every day and very close to those checkpoints. So I wonder what they are even stopping. I remember in 2017, there was a circular from the um, city's office, custom, that no, uh, there shouldn't be any custom checkpoints 40 kilometers from the, from, the, from the border. But now, customs are in everywhere in every state. What are they checking? Are they not supposed to be at the, at the border at the airport. What are the, when you carry your vehicle after going through paying all the necessary fees, you take your vehicle from Lagos to Onecha. They will come and wait for you at Asaba, wait for you at Enugu, I mean uh, Benin, wait for you in Onecha, wait for you at every few meters. What are they doing on the road, Mr. President? The hardship these checkpoints are causing Nigeria. Nigerians, it's immeasurable. Apart from collapsing the businesses, it is also obstructing our movements. And many a times, there are so many casualties through, uh, uh, through um, maybe uh, this um, careless shooting by the policemen and all that. So I think time has come when we need to, not just stopping it by calling all the heads of, uh, 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 heads of these agencies to instruct them to remove all the checkpoints with immediate effect. Now we're entering Christmas period. With all these checkpoints, how would families come in for their holidays? How would they come in to assess their, uh, uh, their businesses? How would the movement of the people go through this Christmas period? Mr. President, this motion is timely and it's a motion that affects everybody. I'm talking as, as affects me as somebody from the Southeast. I don't know how it affects somebody from another zone, but I think this is general. And it's something everybody must condemn. And in condemning it, let us use this auspicious moment to stop the checkpoints and not know where and where that we need those checkpoints and what those checkpoints are doing to the economy of this country and the benefits of the checkpoints to Nigerians. As it is today, there are no benefits. Rather, we Nigerians experience a lot of hardship because of the checkpoints everywhere. Thank you, Mr. President. The minority leader.